Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I'm your host Mr. Munchies and in this episode I am going to show you how to make Southwest Pork Enchiladas. Okay, so let's get into our ingredients. Uh, the first thing you are going to need is a pork shoulder or what is commonly known as a Boston butt and you will know it because it has a bone in it that's kind of shaped like a T. Now you don't want a piece of ham that has a round bone in it because that is a picnic ham. This one will shred up a lot better. Okay, so for our dry ingredients we have one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of black powder, black powder, black pepper, I'm sorry. I'm not going to blow anything up. <laughs> I've got uh, a half a teaspoon of my brother Nick's hot pepper shake. Now, if you don't have any of my brother's hot pepper shake, you can use cayenne pepper or you can skip it if you don't want it hot. A half a teaspoon of dried oregano. One eighth teaspoon of cumin. Now if you've never used cumin before, be careful with it because it is a very powerful spice. Very aromatic, but it, it has a very strong taste, especially when you use it in a liquid. I've got one clove of garlic that is finely minced. About a quarter of a cup of poblano pepper. Now I'm kind of disappointed in this poblano because I picked it up because I wanted a little bit of heat, but this one is very mild. It's almost like a, a bell pepper, but it has a good taste so it's going to add some flavor but not much heat. And then I have about a quarter cup of finely chopped onion. One can, eight ounces of tomato sauce. And I'm going to use about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of fresh lime juice. Alright, so in a pot this is a uh, five quart pot. I have already have um, four cups of water that I've brought to a simmer. So we're going to add our dry ingredients to that because we want them to open up. Just throw everything in there. We're going to add our garlic. Our poblano. And you can use bell pepper or jalapeno depending on what kind of flavor you want. Of course the jalapeno is going to add some heat to it. Our onion. Now we're going to turn our heat up to about five, medium heat. Give this a little bit of a stir. Get those dry ingredients open it up, uh, and, and you can smell it already. You can you can smell the, the cumin and the chili powder. Yeah, that's, that smells great. Okay, now we are going to pour in our. Lime juice, like I said, I'm going to use probably about, I think that was about a tablespoon. Uh, these little cups hold approximately juice of two limes. Did I say lemon juice or did I say lime juice? This is lime juice, fresh lime juice. I buy them in bulk, squeeze them, and then freeze them in those little containers. Give that a little bit of a stir. Add our tomato sauce. Now I'm not going to add any salt to this right now. I'm going to do that at the end if it needs it. Because this is going to cook, it's about 10 o'clock now. Uh, this is going to cook all day on a low temperature. If you have a crock pot, use that. Uh, start it out on high for about the first 45 minutes and then turn it down. 
I don't have a crock pot big enough to hold that piece of meat. Okay, so our stuff is in the pot. It's getting hot. Now we're going to go ahead and add our piece of meat. Get that in there. Now four cups of water and it's almost covering the meat so I'm just going to add just another dash of water to it. I'm using filtered water because the water in my city is not that great. Okay, it's in the pot, it's getting hot. Now I'm going to run this at a medium heat for a little while until it comes to a boil and then I'm going to reduce the heat down to as low as it'll go and I just want this to slow cook all day. So once that has done, I will come back and we will pull this pork apart. I'll see you then. Okay, it's been about seven hours. Our pork has been cooking. Um, I pulled it out of the broth about an hour to go to let it cool so I could pull it apart. And meanwhile, as it was cooling, I took uh, three cups of the broth, put it in a separate pan, and reduced it to about half, and then poured it in with the pork after I had pulled it. And I added some cheese to the pork now, so this is what we've got. We're ready to start assembling. See that? That's nice. It smells good too. Ready to start assembling our enchiladas. So we're going to need some corn tortillas, some cheese. This is what they call Mexican style cheese. And some enchilada sauce. Now I'm using enchilada sauce out of a can because I have not come up with a recipe or have not come across a recipe for enchilada sauce that I really care for so I'm stuck using a can. Alright so I'm going to show you how to assemble the first couple and I'm just going to speed through it and then get back to uh, getting it in the oven. So what you want to do is take a uh, frying pan and get it nice and hot on about a medium high heat and throw your corn tortilla in there. It's only going to take a few seconds on each side and what this is going to do it's going to prevent your corn tortillas from tearing as you're trying to make your enchiladas. So while that first one's heating up I'm going to take a little bit of this enchilada sauce put it in the bottom of my pan get it rolled around there. Now the pork that I made was more than I needed so I pulled about half of it off and that should make me about 10 enchiladas and the rest of it I'm going to reserve for another recipe. So let's flip our corn tortilla over here. Crank that up. I'm going to put it on medium, number 5 out of 10. Get a little bit more sauce in the bottom of our pan. Get that spread around. It's almost there. Now while these go in the oven, I'm going to be making Spanish rice to go with these. Now I call it Spanish rice because the first place I ate this rice was at a Spanish restaurant and I don't know what else to call it but that is going to be another episode. So after you watch this one, watch the one for the Spanish rice and you'll get the idea for that. Alright, I think that one's hot enough now. Put that on our board, throw another one in there, grab our tongs, and grab some of this pork, put it right down the middle, don't want to overload them, and then just roll it up, place it in the pan with the seam side down, Flip this one over, it's almost hot enough. And just repeat that process. So like I said, I'm just gonna <clears throat> fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me making all these. It might look pretty funny in fast forward though. Crank that heat up just a little bit more. I'm gonna get these moving. Don't want them to cook, you just want them to get hot 
like I said, so they don't tear apart. All right, so from here on out, it's going to be fast forward until I get them all made. Okay, I've got them all in the pan. You can see in there, they're all in there nice and snug together. And uh, I didn't have enough corn tortillas, so I grabbed one flour. So I've got one flour tortilla in there. Now we're just going to take our sauce, pour it over the top. Now I'm going to get a spoon. Put the sauce over the top of these, nice and even. Okay. Alright, now that we're all sauced up, I mean enchilada sauce, not drunk, we're going to put some cheese on here. I like my cheese, so this is going to be quite a bit, and that's one of those personal preference things. You'd use as much cheese or as little cheese you want. Any type of cheese, you maybe you want to go with just uh, some sharp cheddar, maybe some Monterey Jack, maybe some Pepper Jack, whatever you want. I think that's enough. Make sure it's all spread out. Now I'm going to cover this with foil and it's going to go into a 400 degree oven for probably about 20 minutes uh, until everything starts to bubble. Because <coughs> our pork has been sitting out so it's at room temperature. Now a little trick, uh, take your foil and just give it a light spray of uh, cooking spray you know Pam or whatever you use cover it up not too tight just nice and loose keep it on there put it in the oven for about 20 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and do that while that's in the oven cooking I'm gonna go ahead and do my Spanish rice for my other episode and when they come out I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes so they're cool and then we'll uh, go ahead and plate the stuff up and let's see what it looks like afterwards all right so I'll be back when these are done and I just want to mention too, the broth that's left over from cooking the pork, uh, you don't want to get rid of that. Let it cool down, put it in a Tupperware or a freezer bag and freeze it, hang on to it because we're going to use this in a later episode, alright? So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Alright, everything is done. Our enchiladas are out of the oven. Our Spanish rice is ready to go. And we also have some Puerto Rican beans that our mystery guest has made. She didn't want to be on camera and show us how she did this, but maybe one day. Uh, you might remember her from the um, rib, coleslaw, and cornbread video. She made the coleslaw in it. So let's get some stuff plated up. Let me show you these enchiladas here. The pan is still hot, so. Yeah. All nice and cheesy. All right, yeah, I wish you could smell that. Oof, that smells good. All right, so we're gonna get one of these out of here. If I can, there we go. All right, one enchilada. A little bit of our Spanish rice and some of our mystery guests Puerto Rican beans okay look at this dish that is nice huh those beans smell awesome 
She's going to have to show us how she does those. I'll talk her into it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so let's cut into this. Give it a try. And hopefully it's, uh, it's not volcano hot. Oh yeah, that is that pork is so tender from cooking all day. That is awesome. Uh, a little bit of our Spanish rice here. Mmm, smooth and creamy. Um, not too much jalapeno taste. I, yeah, I should have added some more jalapenos. For some reason, jalapenos lately have been kind of a an enigma for me because some of them are really hot and some of them aren't. I don't think this one's that hot. And then some of our uh, Puerto Rican beans from our mystery guest. And I know these are going to be hot. I'm probably going to burn my mouth. No, oh, not too bad. Oh, those are awesome. Oh, yeah. That's killer. All right. Give this a try. Let me know how you like it. Um, <clears throat> if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, send me a comment if you've given it a try. Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. If you're watching this on YouTube, share this with your friends as well. Uh, give me some feedback on it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. Subscribe. Help support my channel. And uh, that'll do it for another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I am your host, Mr. Munchies. So everybody, plate up and chow down.